Hello, and welcome to Tell Us From Scratch. Tell Us From Scratch is a series where Cash and I will be competing to see who can complete a full Telos weapon first from scratch. From scratch means no grand exchange, no trading other players, no doing any activities with other players, as well as a number of other constraints we've set on our accounts. But there's more to it than just that. This series will play out like a video game, with Cash and I as the protagonists in the series. Certain actions we complete will toggle cutscenes. These cutscenes will have implications both to the story, of why we're doing what we're doing, as well as to our actual characters in their day-to-day -day lives. So, with that being said, welcome to the series, I hope you all enjoy, and let's get it started. Where am I? Ah, oh, my head. I feel like I've been fire-breathed by the Queen Black Dragon. I feel like I've been struck by a death click. What, what happened, happened last night? night? Wanna buy some purple sweets? I don't think- Yes, but I'm out of money. Can I pay you back another time? Sure, I guess. I don't see any sandcastles or iron men. Are we in another realm? We could be. Unless... What was that? <laughs> oh, that? <laughs> That's just me. <laughs> I guess I haven't eaten in a while. And I suppose that was you as well. Run! Quick, over here. I think I've had enough of this place. How are we gonna get out of here? Look, I can get you both off this island. You, you can? can? Absolutely. All I need is one small favor. That doesn't sound too bad. Whatever it is, we'll do it. I was hoping you'd say that. How in the world are we going to capture this thing? It's massive. Not as massive as your debt. I guess we shouldn't have space barred all the dialogue. The man was pretty clear. If we can catch this thing, he'll take us off the island. It looks like there's only one way forward. You gotta catch this bad boy. Only way off the island. Slight constraint here. I got a bronze hatchet. Welcome to the stream, guys. Welcome to Tell Us From Scratch. I hope you enjoyed the first cinematic, the first cutscene. Don't wanna get greedy and lose here. Where's my surge? No, 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 no. Oh boy, that was not good. Uh-oh. Oh, that's really unlucky. I'm dead. No! Oh boy, that's not the start we needed. So Cash now gets a head start. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> like, he, oh my god. Oh, this is not good. Yeah, we gotta get off this island. Like, ASAP. I'm already so far behind. Okay, that's lucky. So gold it is. Send it. Done. See you, bro. Are you guys ready for the literal worst running to the Stormbreaker of all time? I literally don't think I could have taken a worse path if I'd tried, and I'm so disappointed. But in my defense, this series launched super, super early in the morning, so, you know, I was a little tired, hadn't had my coffee quite yet. Two checks of the world map later, we made it to the Stormbreaker, and it's time to finally get on the mainland. That's the last time I agree to a small favor. At least it's over for now. I can't wait to get all my stuff back from the bank. Same here. I just died four new items. Did you pay for them? Not yet. I'm gonna. Until our next adventure, Cash. Until next time. This must be some kind of mistake. 
What happened to all my stuff? My dyes, my tier 92s. My bank was worth billions. Look, I don't normally help criminals, but you should pay my friend the mask a visit. He lives underneath the city. If I were you, I wouldn't show my face around these parts. They're searching for you. Searching for me? What do you mean? What did I do? Sir, for the last time, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. There's nothing in your bank. What in the world is going on? I can find out what you guys did, but it will cost you. Last time I snuck into the castle, I lost my best mate. A million gold pieces should do the trick. Is this really worth it? We have nothing right now. I want to know what I did, and if this is how we find out, then I'm game. All right, I guess. We'll do it. You've got yourself a deal. So we got to rebuild. Pronto, we have got to rebuild. That's the, the first and most important thing for us. Let's get it. So I'm going to need a Dragon's Medallion. I'm going to need a Sun Spear, an ASR, a Dragon Rider Amulet, Wilderness Sword, and an Excalibur. I've linked the rules to this series in the description down below, but the gist of it is no trading other players, no group content, no grand exchange, no reclaims from Diango, no treasure hunter, and quite simply, the first person to get a complete full Telos weapon under those constraints is the winner. Fordos overloads will be buyable for 100,000 coins, a limited supply of aura refreshes will be buyable for 1 million coins per, and we can also buy Vizwax from an NPC we've created. I went into day one without really having a plan. I honestly spent all my time just setting up the series, getting everything prepped, and because of that, we started off extremely scrambled. My ideal setup for Telos involves the Dedo boots from Liverworts, Cinderbane gloves, as well as a Noxious staff, so we're gonna start working on all three of those main things today. That means Slayer, upgrading the gear, and very importantly, invention and perks. All of our uncommon and rare perks have been wiped for this series, so I'm gonna try and get myself a Sun Spear, augment it with the Scavenging perk, and then by doing a mix of regular Slayer and Wilderness Slayer, I'm hoping to recoup a lot of perks. I was really hoping to get an Elite Clue, but we ended up with two Hard Clues, which should actually be fine. Hard Clues generally require items, whereas Elite Clues cannot give you steps that are incompletable. Now, there's almost zero chance that we'll have the items required for an Emote Clue, but Hard Clue steps are actually saved. That means that even on the last step of the first clue, if we have to drop it, that will mean the following clue will only have one step total. This should be a decent way to get some starting cash, and I am going to need 50 fortunate components eventually to make myself an Ingenuity of the Humans. So we're kind of killing two birds with one stone. Okay, we'll be sword four. 100,000 coins. Uh, shoot. I think it's worth it. Yeah, for it's tier 70 and it's bladed dive. All right. Just like that, we're all stocked up. Have one free. Okay, beautiful. Thank you. Oh, that thing's got stats too. Nice. No, my sharks, dude. I just lost two sharks. Bro. No? Casket. Yes, dude. All right, what's it going to be? Something nice. Go. 225k. Um, I can't take that reroll. Mystic Air Staff, an Alec. It's not bad. Can I get through here, please? No, no. Oh my god. Oh, I'm inside a tree now. Great. Okay, three, two, go, please. Okay, Fortunate Component and Court Summons, but no Elk. Oh, that's so brutal. I, I like the Fortunate Component, but uh, money-wise, that's actually not perfect. I need money to buy things like an Asylum Surgeon's Ring, a Dragon Rider Amulet, and most importantly, the Sun Spear. And although Gargoyles were decent with the Wildy Sword and the Excalibur, definitely not optimal, and a way better option is going to be Spiritual Warriors. But before I do that, I'm going to want to get myself some weapons and some armor. I'm going to take one hour right now to make some Elder Rune, and just upgrade the weapons as far as I can within one hour of mining. This should allow for easier money making, and I also think I'll be able to do QBD for supplies and then go right to racks after. Wait, is that my progress? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I know I said, are you with me, chat? But we're going to go to the garage or dungeon. That's a much better way of doing this. I'm no longer with you guys, chat. I'm no longer with you, all right? We can't do this. Let's get it. One. Two. Yeah, that's so much better. Three. Four. Okay, so that's done. Okay. Eldarin pickaxe done. It's the standard one. That's gonna have to do for now. I'm gonna out the Bane pickaxe for 8k. Not the worst. Yeah, let's spend some time mining here. I got a comment on one of my videos of, I love your content, but I have to watch it muted because your voice is so bad. And it's like, thanks, man. I'll just, you know, if I had a voice modulator, I would use it. You know, no, I, I would just put, put on a voice modulator, modulator but like, like obviously, obviously I don't have one. one. Yeah, so the reason we don't upgrade the offhand, by the way, is all of your accuracy comes from your main hand. So it's actually, it's the most efficient upgrade for the bars you're putting in. Upgrades are done. There we go. So all of our gear is completely finished. It's time to get that money and get our Sun Spear. Yeah, I get CS being out of here in like, what, 15, 20 minutes? Ooh, there's the Frozen Key piece as well. 
That's actually very useful. We will be needing that. The huge bladed rune salvage. Thank you, Jagex. That is what we need right there. If I ever need GP on this series, this is where I'm going to go. Spiritual warriors are absolutely insane. They take no supplies and they drop so much good stuff. Do you guys think I could kill Zilliana with the setup? Because we could actually go in and do it. All right. Can I just say, I'm in it for these Ranar seeds. That would be like the best thing I could get from this boss. Yeah, we're good. Oh man. I mean, we're in the encampment. You may as well kill the boss. Salvage? Okay. This is actually surprisingly decent. I, it's almost good enough that I want to make an instance, but I also know this isn't a great boss to go to, like for what it actually gets me. Rewarding wise, it's not that good. You've been cleared. Oh, okay. Uh, that's actually a war priest body. Uh, what can I do with that? Can I do anything with that? Buy items. There are the Barrow's Gloves. I have a feeling they're going to be our best gloves for a very, very long time. So, yeah, got to get them done. Some money to help it. 600,000 coins. Gone. We now have a fully charged Sun Spear. That's perfect. Master the skill. Anything else? Perfect. There we go. 120 Save Camp unlocked. I'm feeling like a beast right now. That is not bad. So now that we're here, we're actually going to teleport to Lanika. And we're going to get a Lanika task and just see what it is. We may as well. So here we go. Wish me luck. TDs or Ascensions? Oh, God. I don't think I could eat TDs. I don't have the Dark Light upgrade even. I've got the normal one. Oh, boy. No, we're taking the, we're taking the Ascensions for sure. Yeah, we'll do them later. That's fine. What do you guys think about me making an anti-fire right now and then going to QBD? Because I think I can no food QBD right now. QBD makes sense. QBD has really good drops. Done. There are the first three anti-fires. And now, three super anti-fires. So hoping here we can actually profit on Bruise and actually come out on the positives. The next two upgrades are Dragon Rider Amulet, Asylum Surgeon's Ring. They cost 500k each. On a 0% start, first skill is 150, so a little slower than we wanted it to be, but... Still, I would say that's very good for the first QBD kill, uh, kill on series. 200k cash and bruise. Oh boy. That's so nice. Torstal Seed. Rock Tails. Give me the Rock Tails. That's the first drop on the series. It's a Vizzy. It elks for 1.2 million coins if you make it into a DFS. I am very happy with that. It means we can now get ourselves an ASR and a Dragon Rider Amulet. Let's get it. 500,000 coins. Money well spent there. Explorer's Ring, you've done well. You've served your purpose. But... I think it's time to, uh, time to move on. 500,000 gold down the drain. We've got another upgrade. 10 prayer bonus on that thing too. That's actually really, really good. 200K and a Royal Torsion Spring. We are off to an incredible start. So that is another drop right there for the lockbox. Before I go to Araxor, I want to get some adrenaline potions. And for those, you need papayas. The best way to get papayas in the game is to use a fruit bat familiar, but I don't have summoning potions right now. Turns out, if you go into the kiln and then leave right after, it fully recharges your summoning. So what I did is used up all my points, used a bunch of Fruitfall Scrolls, went into the kiln, back out again, and then all I had to do was rinse and repeat, easy as that. I was also alking the Onyx Bolt Tips from QBD, so now I've got a bunch of money and a bunch of papayas. So you can buy regular anti-poisons from a shop in Karamja, they're very inexpensive, but when you're fighting the ranged form of Araxos so you're using melee, the boss will actually poison you constantly throughout the entire fight. Because of this, I think I'm going to need super anti-poisons. For this, I'm going to need some irits, and I don't currently have any, so I'm just going to loot some from a resource dungeon really quick. It'll be good enough to start off with, and then later on in the series, we'll figure out something a little more permanent. It's go time! I hope this goes okay. I'm a little concerned, but I don't know. That's whatever. Oh my god, I'm on a New Zealand world! Oh, what have I done? Why am I so bad? I'm literally- I'm in freaking New Zealand right now. Oh my god, I'm on like 8 million ping. I actually regret everything. Prayer flicking P4 may not even be possible. You know what? I'm just gonna send it. I'm just gonna zerk. Oh my god. <laughs> I literally can't pray flick. Please. Oh, buddy. I can't make those pray. I can't. I literally can't. I literally can't. Oh my god. Eat. Look, I love the people of New Zealand. I didn't want to go there today, you know? Oh, please go, boss. Whoo! Oh my god, that was so bad. Six minutes though, you know? The time is is decent. <laughs> Yikes. I got some bruise at least. Yeah, that's something. Alright. Let me hop worlds real quick and then we're good. 
All right, kill the boss, sub six. That's not too bad. Check our loot. Brutal loot, absolutely brutal loot. I'm like, I'm fired up because like if we get a drop, it's so big, but if we don't get a drop, it's so not good. 525, that's actually not a bad kill time. With this gear, I'm feeling great about that. Give me a drop. 10 rune salvage, that's actually really good because I have literally no money right now. Got the kill. Ooh, actually overloads are pretty sick. That's actually a pretty good drop. I was like, water talisons, that doesn't help me at all, but the overloads do. Send it? I don't have a sign. Oh, shoot. Come on, buddy. That was actually a really good way to do that. I think we should do before like that more often, because I'm saving food by not zerking. And uh, I'm not getting hit by the acid core. Yeah, we're liking that. Double onyx, yes, dude. Oh, that's so good. Okay, that makes me really happy. So the entirety of Racks from Scratch, I literally did not get an Onyx the entire series. And now on day one, hour seven, we've got the double Onyx. So I can actually make a Ring of Fortune and an Amulet of Fury. My biggest goal for day one is to get a Sun Spear and augment it with the Scavenging perk. I'm not expecting to be able to get Scavenging 3, but Scavenging 2 is more than good enough for right off the top. In order to do that, I need enhancing components, precious components, powerful components, and some strong components to make the augmenter as well as the weapon gizmo. So we're going to work on that, and we're going to start off by making as many rings of slaying as we possibly can. They're very good for both enhancing and precious components, so this shouldn't take too long. Turns out, strong components are very expensive on an Iron Man. I'm hoping that we can get a bunch of these more expensive components just with the scavenging perk, and that way we don't have to worry about this ever again later on in the series. But we'll see what happens. Divine charges, check. Let's get augmented. Augment, sun, spear, magic, done. Let's go, first try. All right, scavenging two, that's more than good enough for now. Now that I've got invention figured out, it's time to slay. The Sun Spear is really good for this because it works for all three combat styles, so we can adapt to whatever task we end up getting. The main things I'm looking for from Slayer are Cinderbane Gloves from Creatures of the Lost Grove, as well as the Blast Diffusion Boots from Liverworts. On top of this, I'm also planning on doing Wilderness Slayer to get myself a Decimation Bow. It's going to be good for camping Max and Rage Raxor, as well as for Solo Nax. Yeah, I don't think these things drop other than the Serenic Scale, because there's a very good chance I will be able to finish like a Serenic Mask on series. Other than the ceramic scale, there isn't anything great here because I don't think I'll have a chance to make a full ascension. Like, that takes an insane amount of time. I just don't think it'd be worth it. So yeah. Oh my god! I just got ascension grips. Are you freaking kidding me? The luck is insane! Oh my god. That's so good. Um, okay. Well, that's pretty sick. I was like, hey, these guys don't have any drops that are good for me. Right? Oh, never mind. They have one. It's on task only, and we got it. We're doing this one for science. I have a feeling the Sun Spear is going to be absolutely terrible for Rax, but we're going to try it anyway. The Enrage is way too high for me to continue with melee. I'm going through way too much food, so we'll see if this is any better. I, like, barely know how to do this anymore because I've meleeed my last, like, what, 1,500 Rax kills? At least 1,500 Rax kills? Oh, kill boss, come on. Come on, buddy. I'm actually trash at this, but that's okay. 750? I mean, with a Sun Spear. Like, come on, that's not that bad. With a Sun Spear? Send it. Black Dragon Hide. It's the right color, but it's not the drop. We got 11 Rock Tails for that, too. Decent. Scuff equals stuff? Yeah, Scuff equals stuff. 827. Holy, that is a bad Rax time. Oh, Overloads, actually. That's really good. Ooh, the Battle Staff Troll. Actually, that's really good for powerful components. That's sick, but... Oh, man. I actually... I thought that could have been something. Soloing Calphite King for Dragors would be extremely cool. I am not the best at solo Calphite King, and I have no idea how it's going to be with the food and the armor and the weapon situation we currently have. I'd be using a Karis and a Desert Amulet 3, and I just want to go right now without a Slayer Task or anything and see how it is. If it goes somewhat decently and I'm able to actually finish the kill, I might spend tomorrow trying to get myself a Black Mask as well as a Calphite Slayer assignment to do an entire task at KK to try and get myself some Dragors. That might be my baby stun, in which case I gotta send it. Did it work? Tell me I'm not green. Either I'm green right now or I skipped it. I skipped it. One. Two. There's my stun. I just soloed Calphite King. Let's go. Come on, Dragor me. Oh, come on. All that for actually, you know, I'm taking those sharks. That's fine. Give. I am taking all those sharks. 
It's still day one. I am pretty dead tired. I'm off stream right now and I've got about two hours of playtime left. So the plan is gonna be a start out with Wilderness Slayer. I'm a little concerned it's not gonna go very well, but we need to give it a crack here. I can't do Wildy Slayer on stream. Even if I had my world, people will just hop every single world to find me. Doesn't work out super, super well. So now is really my only good chance to do it. Private's off, everything else is good. We're gonna go to Mandrith and I'm gonna grab my first ever Wilderness Slayer task. I've been told that dragons are fast and revs are good too. So those are gonna be the main ones we're gonna be focusing on. What do you got for me? And green dragons, perfect. They're extremely fast. That should be pretty much exactly what we need here. So uh, yeah, let's get it done. Wildy Slayer. Oh my goodness, that is my first rare scavenging proc and we actually got ourselves two undead components. Off the top of my head, I can't really think of what that would be good for, but you guys let me know. These things are the freaking worst. So fun fact about Abbey Demons, if you put on a Revo Bar, they will actually stop doing that. It's 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 a really weird bug where they're only gonna pull you around if you're using full manual. So I guess Revo it is. Can I pick this up? Thank you. Good, let's go. Okay, that wasn't too bad. So that whole task took exactly 12 minutes to get done. Ooh, Fremenic Equipment Patch. That's actually really useful because I'm currently using tank gear. So it means if I wanna get, um, oh, what's it even called? Spine gear, the tier 50 range gear from Fremenic. I can actually now upgrade it to tier 60. So that's actually really good. Cool. I'm fully starting to understand why adrenaline crystals are like a billion coins each. Like literally three tasks in it, don't have a single one yet, but it's all good. I'm having fun. That took about six minutes and 30 seconds. On to the next one. Another five minute task. Unreal, let's keep it going. So I don't have the dark light upgrade and even with the Zerker aura, I'm splashing like a good 55, 60% of the time. This task is just terrible. So I'm actually gonna go and get myself a black mask. Now is the most efficient time to get it because as I continue to slay, every task I do with melee after the point where I get one is gonna be boosted. I'll have increased damage, increased hit chance, and I am gonna need it for the Calphite King plan anyway. So yeah, let's get to mostly harmless. Anything that's been reworked in the last couple of years generally has sort of above their pay grade drops. So. Yeah, this is gonna work. Oh my god. So my overload literally just ran out. Oh, that's so sick. I was literally like about to leave. But uh, yeah, I'll take it. Easy black mask. We can now go back and uh, finish our Willy Sarah task. Oh my god, this is so much better. Yeah, this is worth it. Let's get the task done. Grab another one. Whew. Revenants are a very interesting task, as if I were to get something like a Zuriel Staff, and then I also got the Equipment Patch, I could technically probably skip Araxor and the rest of the Wildy Slayer and go right to Telos. So it would be extremely good to get something like that done, although it is extremely unlikely, and they're so incredibly rare, I don't think it's worth specifically going for the Revenant items. That being said, I haven't really done too many revs before, so you guys can let me know if you think it's worth going for. That being said, while we're doing our Wilderness Slayer, I'm gonna be doing revs as often as I possibly can, just to, you know, give RNG an opportunity to come through and help me out in a big way. This will be the last kill of the task, as well as the final thing we do in day one. Are we gonna get a drop on our second rev task? I doubt it. Nope. One of these days, we're gonna get something really cool. Cash and I have set a maximum of 10 hours of playtime per day of doing things that are active, like Slayer and PVMing and anything like that. We also have a couple hours per day that are reserved just for AFK things like fishing or mining or smithing, just to give us an opportunity to get ahead on editing. The plan for this series is for both of us to upload every second day throughout this entire series, and every single video should have another cutscene and another cinematic as well. So that's sort of the situation. Day one is done, let's head into day two. Hey guys, pardon my face. I wanna show you guys the lockbox. It's a program that has been made to keep track of both my drops as well as Cash's drops. Here's how it works. Cash and I do not need to be streaming or playing the game at the exact same time on this challenge. And even if we're live at the exact same time, we're both gonna have our private chats off and our broadcasts turned off. So you will have no idea what the other person is doing and no idea what drops the other person is getting. At the end of each day, I'm gonna then upload all the drops I've received to the lockbox and Cash will do the same. The following morning, as soon as I start my stream, I will then check the lockbox and that will show me everything that Cash has received the day before. So I'll have no idea what he's doing day of, but I will know the previous day what happened to him and then I can guess sort of what gear he's got, what he's using. It's a way to keep things suspenseful and a way to keep things nice and fun. So as you can see right here, this is gonna be unlocking Cash's day one. And we can unlock it. Oh my goodness, I'm shocked, I've already seen this. I saw this on stream, I had a power outage so I lost all of my footage, but we're, uh, we're re-recording it right now. Cash was actually able to get himself Blast Diffusion Boots. There's a timestamp, date, all that stuff. And then he was also able to get 
two Bandos chest plates, which is quite fortunate. So uh, the other cool thing with the lockbox is we can then take things to lockbox two over here and actually view Cash's reaction to him getting that drop. So as you can see, it's got audio, it's got everything. Yes, oh my God, dude. Oh, yes. That's actually my first time seeing that. So anyway, that's the lockbox. We're gonna start off pretty much every day by checking the lockbox, and that's gonna be a way for us to keep track of Cash's progress throughout this series. I can already see the comments of you guys calling me a scuffed streamer, but this is actually my first time ever doing temple tracking. I ran the numbers and temple tracking is significantly more sharks per hour than actually fishing them myself. So this is gonna be how we're gonna be getting food for the majority of this series. Even though it's a little tedious, this is the best way to go about it. And we're starting off day two by doing five or six temple tracks just to get me a couple hundred sharks to tide me over till the end of the day. Before my power went out, I went and did a Revenant Slayer assignment, and then I went to Lanika and got myself a Creatures of the Lost Grove assignment. I'm hoping to get Cinderbane Gloves, as they're on my best in slot list for Telos. It's a 1 in 1500 drop, and I've got 119 on the task, so odds are not in my favor. Let's get it done. All right, guys, last kill of the task. Do we believe? I, I don't believe. I'm not gonna lie. It's a 1 in 1.5k. We're, we're not gonna get one in, in, in one kill. But... Good for his task. It took uh, a little under an hour to get done. Isn't terrible. Maybe we'll be reprise all the spec we gotta drop. Bang, hit me, bro. B Did it? Did it splash? I, I don't know what happened. But hey, task done. Not bad. All right, Lanika. What do you got for me? Yes! Calfight King! Calfight King! Calfight King! Calfight King! Calfight King, let's go! All right, it's KK solo time. One and down. Second Galvite King solo. Ooh, that's brutal. Wait, what? Why? Why did he? Oh my god, the stomp. Okay, we're fine. Sit. Kill bus. Another KK solo down. Come on. Come on. Actually, I'm okay with the strikes. That's not bad. Two. The minion spawn counts as an attack, right? One. So that should be the green there. I'm going to double stun again, just in case. Cool, we did it. Dude, I'm actually, actually, I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch, but I'm, yeah, I'm getting way better at skipping the greens. I'm so happy with that. It's done. That's one. Are you kidding me? He's on one KLA points. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I'm not tapping out. I have to, that's so sad. I'm actually so upset. What do you got for me, bro? Please. Uh, some stone spirits. Oh boy. Holy, that was a that was a big dry run there. That was a, a big run of uh, of not getting kills, but we're uh, you know we're back in the W column. Oof, Dragor. That's not a Dragor, it's sharks, dude. Come on. <laughs> I can't complain about the shark drops because like I I did sign up for this. Like I realized that's the the main thing this boss drops, but oh boy. <gasps> no, I played a dive. No. Okay, I got a dip. I got a dip. I got a dip. Yeah, I don't think you can do this with Surge, can you? I don't think you can. Okay, wait. 10 seconds? We're good, we're good, we're good. One. Two. And we're good. That was such a save! Oh my god! That was such a save! Yeah, I would've died there. Woo! Okay, go. That's gonna be the last KK kill for right now. Come on. Do it. The armor I was using at Calphite King is Elder Rune, and Elder Rune degrades based on the number of times you get hit. So the minions absolutely tear it, and it degraded completely within just a couple hours of Calphite King. So I think I'm going to try and get myself a set of Rock Shell and go in with that. Calphite King doesn't have great splash chance anyway, so I don't think I'll take significantly more damage, and I should be able to dish out quite a bit more with the power gear. So we're going to go and do that right now. How is that my fourth chunk? I Done. That is a Rock Shell set done. And... Now, we need to make some restores. As soon as we've got the restores, we're gonna try and solo KK in the rock shell. Holy crap, they, they actually tear. It makes sense though, like my gear is terrible right now in terms of defense. Woo, good kill. Come on. One of these days, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I still feel like I learned a lot. So even if we don't get a Dragor, I feel like I learned a lot about solo KK, which is always good and it will help me later on in the challenge. Put on the luck ring, come on. Hit me with it. 
I'm pretty burnt out from a bunch of hours of straight Caliphate King. I learned a lot. I'm getting a lot better at it. But I'm going to do a couple of Rax kills really quick, and then we'll finish off the hour at KK. That's going to be all we end up doing today, so hopefully we can get something from one of the two bosses. Onyx Bolt Tips, or Onyx Bolts rather, and Bruise. I'm good with that. It's actually a pretty good drop. In terms of Alkaballs, that's a couple million coins. Right on me, bro. That's so rude. Okay, we got the kill. Whew. That was a significantly rougher kill. That's okay. Black Dragon Hide. That's not great. I don't have very many Ceratomen Brews, and because of that, the only way I can gain HP is by eating solid food that drains my adrenaline. Because of this, I'm having a lot of difficulty with the Acid Core part of the Araxi fight, and I think to remedy this, I'm going to AFK some Swarm Fishing so I can take a couple Blubber Jellyfish every time I go into Rax. You can eat the Blue Blubbers without losing adrenaline, so I should be able to finish off this part of the phase a whole lot quicker and a lot more safely. Ugh. The luck has not been, uh, been with us. Okay, now, for sure, this part isn't quite as smooth. Minions hurt a lot, but... One. Two. Look at that DPS! Oh, this is so much better. Three, 315. Come on. Get it. I'm actually totally okay with that. That's, that's... Sharks are great. Sharks are, like, one of the best things I can get, but... Got it. Last Calif I can kill, please. Come on. Come on. <laughs> actually, that's actually not bad. That's actually not bad. I'll take 700,000 super restores. All right? I'm not a very complaining guy. You know, I'm not going to complain about some... Look at all those super... Re I'm good for, like, the next six years. I'm literally stocked for six years. Thank you guys so much for watching episode number one of the Tell Us From Scratch Challenge. If you want to follow the action live on Twitch, you can do so at twitch.tv slash the RS guy. And if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to my channel. Outside of that, I hope you're all well. I hope you're enjoying this series. It's been in the works for about a calendar year, so I'm so glad to finally be able to launch it and get it cracking. Getting to be creative and make things like this and share them with you is literally a dream come true for me. So thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. It means the world. And I will see you guys in two days for the next episode.